Hello, and welcome to History Pod. On the 27th of August 1883, one of the most destructive volcanic events in modern history occurred when Krakatoa's eruption reached its climax. Krakatoa consists of a mostly sunken caldera that lies within the Sunda Strait between the Indonesian islands of Java and Sumatra. Situated on the subduction zone of the Eurasian Plate and the Indo-Australian Plate, the island and its surrounding archipelago were formed by previous volcanic eruptions. In May 1883, Clouds of ash and steam were seen venting from the volcano by the captain of the Elizabeth, a German warship. The intensity of the volcano's activity varied over the next three months, until, on Sunday the 26th of August, the eruption became significantly more violent and debris was thrown an estimated 15 miles into the air. The earlier celebratory mood of people on the nearby islands soon turned to fear, as hot ash and rock began to fall. The eruption reached its climax the next day. Over the course of five and a half hours, beginning at 5.30am, four enormous explosions occurred. The third of these was the most powerful, with the sound being heard up to 3,000 miles away in the Indian Ocean. The explosive power of the eruption is believed to have been the equivalent of 200 megatons of TNT, while the pressure wave is estimated to have travelled around the globe three and a half times. The force of the eruption and the amount of material displaced also caused a number of tsunamis, the effects of which could be felt as far away as South Africa. Over 36,000 people are known to have died. Over two-thirds of the island of Krakatoa itself disappeared. In the aftermath, the effect of unusually high quantities of ash and sulphur dioxide that had been expelled into the atmosphere disrupted global weather patterns for more than five years. 